Hey everyone, it's Eric, and it's Monday. Oh, it's definitely a Monday. And it's time for coffee and a candle. Today's candle is chocolate eggs from Kringle Candle. So we'll be talking about this candle today. We'll also quickly talk about Goose Creek, what's going on over there, what's going on at Kringle Candle, of course, what sales are going on this week at Bath & Body Works. We'll also be going on a road trip to Bath & Body Works to take a look at the new Bridgerton collection, as well as a few other things I noticed in store today. I also have some friend mail here to open up, so I'm excited to see what that is. I am so excited! I think I'm gonna explode! <laughs> it has been quite the day. I also have a small haul from the uh, store today from Bath & Body Works. I know the bag is huge, but I had a... Uh, I had a candle exchange to do, that's why the bag is that large. I think I speak for all of us when I say, sure. <laughs> I didn't go crazy with the Bridgerton collection, but uh, yeah. Bought a few new things, so I'll show you that as well at the end of this video. So grab yourself some coffee or a hot tea, and let's talk about candles, you guys. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have been going non-stop today. Usually, I'm filming coffee and a candle around 11 a.m. It's like going on 3 p.m., you guys. I got up early, got ready to go to get to Bath & Body Works so I could film when they opened to show everyone what's going on there at the store, and I locked myself out of my car. <laughs> Oklahoma. So I had to wait for the keys, and since I was waiting for the keys, I thought, well, I have this hutch that I got from Amazon that I needed to put together. So uh, the family room right now is just tore up because I'm putting together this hutch. Here's a photo of part of it. I mean, it's just everywhere. There are parts everywhere. And it's been a little confusing with the instructions and the diagrams. So hopefully I'll have it together. And then next week uh, during Coffee and a Candle, I'll show you what it looks like. Hopefully it looks good. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> right now the family room is just a mess. So kind of worked on that while I was waiting to get the keys. And then finally got to the store and got to see the Bridgerton collection and do some filming. And found a, out a really little juicy tidbit of gossip that I'll share with you guys today. So I'm excited to talk about that. So let's first talk about chocolate eggs from Kringle. Your scent notes are chocolate brownies, frosted butter, vanilla, and chocolate chips. So I've had this candle burning for well over three hours down here in the family room. And it is the largest room in the house. It's an open concept space. And it has filled out this room beautifully. It goes into the kitchen. It's all the way to the front of the house. I can smell this candle everywhere downstairs. It is amazing if you like chocolate. It smells like hot fudge. Like the hot fudge you put on a Sunday. That is exactly what this candle smells like. It is delicious. Ooh, that's the way I like them. The candle has cooled out beautifully. The flames are nice and calm. Nothing aggressive here. I mean, it's just been a stellar candle. And I know right now Kringle has their Easter candles at 50% off. So if you're interested in chocolate candles, if you're a chocolaholic like me, you might want to get this while it's 50% off. That's a pretty good deal on the Easter candle. And uh, I actually picked up a second one today because of the 50% off price. It's just so good, you guys. So let's move on over to Goose Creek. Uh, nothing too big to talk about there, but they are having an $11.99 three-wick candle sale right now. You know, they just got done having their $10.99 candle sale yesterday for International Fragrance Week. I did put an order in for that $10.99 sale, but if you missed that, $11.99's not too bad either. So we do have that going on. Kringle, like I mentioned, is having a 50% off Easter sale. So all their Easter candles are 50% off, and most of them are still available. I think the only two that aren't available are the carrot cake and the lemon sugar marshmallow. So still a lot to choose from. They're also having a 30% off spring sale on select spring candles if you're interested in that. Now let's move on over to Bath & Body Works. So today, Monday the 25th, they are having a wallflower sale, a $3.95 wallflower sale, which is a great time to pick up those Bridgerton wallflowers that were just released tomorrow, March 26th, which is a great day. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's my birthday. Uh, they are having a fun size sale. So all the uh, fun size items or the travel size items will be on sale. The hand creams, your hand sanitizer sprays will also be on sale. The bar soaps. I'm not quite sure if they're going to be including the pocket backs in that sale. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but a lot of the fun size items, travel size items, will be on sale tomorrow, March 26th. March 27th through Saturday, March 30th, they'll have an all candle sale promotion going on. So all your three wick candles and all your single wick candles will be on sale. So that's going to be a great time to pick up some of those Bridgerton candles that were just released today, as well as the Dressed in White collection also dropped today. So many to choose from. Also on Saturday, March 30th, we'll be having a concentrated room spray sale. So that's going to be a great time to pick up those room sprays that you might have been wanting to get. So those are a few of the sales going on this week at Bath & Body Works. Now, let's grab our coffees, throw them in a to-go mug, you guys, because we're going on a road trip to Bath & Body Works. Let's go take a look. Here we are at the Bridgerton Collection. First, we have this Crown 3-Wick Candle Holder. Looks like something we've had before. Looks very familiar to me. This is running at $24.95. Next, we have the Danbury Shortbread 3-Wick Candle. Your set notes are Whipped Vanilla, Almonds, and Sugar Crystals. These are running at $29.95. Right next to it, we have Wisteria Garden. This is Sweet Rosewood, English Rain, and Lemon Petals. Of course, there's Diamond of the Season. Moving down here, we have the Chandelier Wallflower Plug. This is running at $32.95. Next we have the Crown Wallflower Plug. This is running at $16.95. The Diamond Ring Pocket Back Holder. This is $7.95. Here's the Danbury shortbread in the pocket back. We also have Wisteria Garden. Here we have the Headless Bust Wallflower Plug. Does it look familiar to you? Well, it should. This is basically the same wallflower plug that we had at Halloween. <laughs> this is running at $24.95. Here we have the carriage pocket back holder. This is priced at $8.95. Next we have the tilting mirror tray. Running at $34.95. Queen Charlotte's Tea. I love the lids they did for this collection, really pretty. This is your rich bergamot, bold citrus, and black tea leaves. Smells really good, you guys. Next to it, we have the Bridgerton Study. This is smooth amber, oakwood, and dried orchids. It kind of reminds me of Book Loft, but better. Here we have the bee pocket bag holder. running at $7.95, and the teapot pocket back holder, $8.95. Right below that, we have the B wallflower plug. This is running at $19.95. And lastly, we have the blazer pocket back holder, and these are $8.95. You're invited to celebrate love. Here we have the Dressed in White collection, Bath & Body Works first ever wedding collection. So we have Dressed in White in the three wick candle, as well as the uh, body cream here. Next we have First Sight in the body cream. This is your Italian bergamot, rich woods, and sugared musk. Of course, we also have the three wick candle here. And here is the perfume and cologne for her and him. They are running at 
$59.95. So that was just a quick store walkthrough, you guys. Also online, Ice Lemon Pound Cake is back. And this year we have a lip gloss for $8.95, as well as the body lotion. We also have the hand cream, fine fragrance mist, the body cream, and the travel size fine fragrance mist. So now I'm going to show you what I ended up getting at Bath & Body Works. I'm just going to go ahead and move this candle really quick so we don't knock it over. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, now that the candle's out of the way, let's take a look at some of the things that I did pick up today at Bath & Body Works. I do have a few candles here. None of the new Bridgerton Collection candles because we're going to have that all candle sale this week. So I'm just going to wait for that sale. I don't feel like spending $29.95 uh, for a candle. So the wallflowers are $3.95. So I did pick up three of the Bridgerton Study wallflowers. I did get three of these. I probably meant to get four, but I, I try to buy these in even numbers. But um, got three of the Bridgerton Study. And then I also picked up just two of the Wisteria Garden, just to have it. I'm not really big on the floral scents, but because it's a limited edition, I just wanted to have two. And then I did pick up two of the Queen Charlotte's Tea. That smells really nice to me, you guys, if you like your tea scents. And then I got four of these Danbury Shortbreads. So I got four of these. This smells super good, you guys. So can't wait to get a hold of that three wick candle later this week. So those are all the wallflowers that I picked up from this Bridgerton collection. I also ended up getting the uh, chandelier wallflower. So this is running at $32.95 and it does light up you guys. Take a look at this. It is really bright. It really really lights up the room. So if you need a very bright night light, this will do it. I just could not get over how bright this is. Very, very bright, you guys. And this is running at $32.95. I also got the teacup wallflower. This is running at $19.95, and it does kind of look like it has tea in it there. This does not light up, you guys. Oh, fiddle did D. It is a scent control, which is great, but uh, yeah, it does not light up. It's really pretty. I love the little tea tag that they did there on the outside. Really nice little detail. And then I also picked up the uh, Blazer pocket back holder. So I did get that. And it kind of just reminds me of something you would see at Halloween, doesn't it? I mean, you know, all it needs is like, like a little spider or something on it and there you go. Uh, I also got the uh, carriage. I was not going to get this, but the sales associate talked me into it. She's like, that is going to sell out really fast. It's going to be gone. And I'm like, oh, all right, I'll just get it just to say I have it. And I don't know. It'll s sit somewhere probably collecting dust, <laughs> to be honest. I also ended up getting just one of the Danbury shortbread in the uh, pocket back here. Let's see what this is like. I didn't even try it in the store, but the candle smelled really, really good. Kind of like, uh, kind of like the almond croissant or like the pistachio toasted vanilla candles. Oh, that smells nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Nice bakery scent. Yeah, so I'll probably end up trying to get a few more of these at some point, uh, maybe this week. I also ended up getting the first sight in the pocket back, so I just got one of these. And then I also just picked up also one of the Gingham Unstoppable. I'm really liking this fragrance, you guys. So this is a really nice, fresh, clean scent. Um, so really, really enjoying that one. I hope they don't get rid of it too quickly, even though they're calling it limited edition. Uh, speaking of that, I did have to exchange some candles today. I took in a few of my number 33s, as well as a few root beer floats, because I had a ton of that stuff. I didn't need as many as I purchased. Uh, and I ended up getting another Gingham Unstoppable. This just smells so good to me. And this is your fresh Neroli sparkling water and clean musk. And yeah, it's just a really nice, fresh, clean fragrance. 
smells really good in that fine fragrance mist, you guys. So picked up one of those, and then I also got uh, another one of these Love You Mom pink lilac and vanilla candles just because it's a Mother's Day candle, and I, I really think this one will probably sell out a little bit quicker than some of the other Mother's Day candles, and I just love how they do the matching pink lid for it. Real pretty. So this is your fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. And we just talked about this candle just the other day, but it does smell like the fresh cut lilacs, but with that vanilla, it's kind of cut down a little. Just a very, very nice scent. So I picked up that, and then I also got, of course, I had to get this, the dressed in white. Got this one. And this is your pear blossom, ivory gardenia, and satin woods. So on cold, it smells a little like a spicy floral scent. Uh, kind of kind of like they took a floral scent and mixed in a little midnight cocktails with it. That's what it kind of smells like to me. Like those two candles mixed together. Uh, not bad. I know some people really are liking it and some people not so much. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of of um, floral scents. But since it is their first uh, wedding collection ever, I thought... I better get that. And then I also picked up the first sight. I can't see. And this is your Italian bergamot rich woods and sugared musk. Well, I definitely detect the musk. I can definitely smell the musk in this. It's a little cologne-y. Uh, not bad, though. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to like this burning just because it smells like it's going to be really strong. But uh, on cold, it smells pretty good, you guys. I'm not. I'm, I'm liking it. So that is the haul that I have from Bath and Body Works. I have a few other things I want to show you guys that are not Bath and Body Works related. So, you know, I totally get it if you're not interested and you just like, okay, click. Uh, well, actually, the first one is uh, Bath and Body Works related. So there was this person on Macari selling, if you guys remember this, the Cherry Limeade. And she was selling the entire collection, the Fine Fragrance Mist, the uh, Shower Gel, the Body Lotion, and the Body Cream, all for like, I think it was like 20 bucks for the whole set. And a lot of people on Macari, I mean, are just selling like this for like 15 16 bucks alone so i was like 20 bucks for the whole set yeah so if you remember cherry limeade i could not believe it i was so excited to see this i love cherry limeade you guys and none of this has been used i kind of checked it out they've all been they're all brand new oh my goodness that lime it's so strong and intense with that cherry so summery and good i really wish bath and body works would bring this back you guys which brings me to a little juicy gossip. You might have heard this. You might not have heard this. I just found out today. So while I was in the store talking with the store manager about the Bridgerton collection, and we're talking about Queen Charlotte's tea, and I'm like, yeah, this kind of smells like the, you know, sweet tea and lemonade vaguely. It kind of reminds me of that. And she goes, oh, well, that's coming back. And I go, it is? Because I haven't heard anything about this coming back, but she told me positively, absolutely, that we will be seeing sweet tea and lemonade this summer again at Bath & Body Works. I knew it! So if you were a fan of this candle last year, it is returning. Now, I don't know for sure if it's returning in the three-wick candle or if it's just going to be in a single-wick candle you know, what kind of products they'll have it in. Hopefully, it'll be in the three-wick candle and in the wallflower because the wallflower actually was better than the candle. So I wouldn't mind picking up some more of those wallflowers, you guys. So it's a great candle if you enjoy a tea fragrance. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there just in case you hadn't heard. I know I hadn't heard anything about that, so I'm very excited to know that Sweet Tea and Lemonade is coming back. And then one other thing I want to just show you guys, which is totally not Bath & Body Works related, but it's just so cute. Uh, sometimes I burn incense, and I've been buying incense from this company, uh, gosh, for at least, at least 20 years now. And it's called, um, I think they're just called the Incense of the West. I think that's what their company name is. But look at this incense burner uh, I picked up from them, and it's this little little black lab 
laying in front of the fireplace. So what you do is you put your incense, you're going to put it right here behind the logs there. And then you just put this back on top. And then the smoke will come up out of the uh, chimney there. I mean, how cute is that? Here's the, um, here's what the little bricks that you get look like. They have all kinds of just nice wood fragrances like hickory and pinion, mesquite. And uh, they also have this, they also have this in a Christmas design. I have the Christmas one. It has like, I think, stockings and a wreath on the brick uh, up near the mantle. So super, super cute, you guys. Look how cute this is, you guys. I don't know if you can see the, the incense here is coming up out of the chimney there. Just adorable. And then there's like the little incense brick back there behind the logs. So cute. So I just wanted to show you that really quick, you guys. I just thought that incense burner was so cute. Adorable. Cute as a button. I do have some friend mail here, you guys. This is from Lisa. So I haven't opened it yet, so I'll see what this is. Thank you, Lisa in advance. <laughs> Let's see. It's a birthday card. Oh my goodness. Uh, I wasn't sure. Like, I, I don't know how many people actually know tomorrow's my birthday. Well, happy birthday. But it says, your birthday is a big deal. How cute is that? How adorable. I love that. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, how cute. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, thank you so much. I had a great weekend. Uh, we ended up celebrating my birthday this past weekend because my birthday's tomorrow, and since it's falling in the middle of the week, and then, of course, Easter is this weekend, it was just, like, too much to do it this coming weekend. And, uh, yeah, so we ended up uh, going out actually saturday went to benihana oh my gosh had so much fun you know they put you at a table with a bunch of people the people that we were sat with were just so wonderful and just had a lovely time talking with them uh just like it was like talking to old friends or something it was just great it had so much fun just been a real fun weekend you guys so thank you very much lisa for the birthday card that was very very sweet thank you so that is it for this coffee and a candle, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this Bridgerton collection and the Dressed in White collection. We have so many new fragrances out right now. So please let me know what you think of those. And as always, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next Monday, as long as I don't get locked out of anything, for another coffee and a candle. Bye-bye.